Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What's new? Another Sheen haul. This is part two to my Valentine's Day series. They have a huge Valentine's Day promotion going on right now. I think it's through January and beginning of February. Sheen sent me all of these items that are going to be shown in this video. I already did 12 or 13 of the items in my last haul. You guys should totally go watch that one. It was with Addison. If you guys do decide to shop from Sheen, make sure you use my code. It will be in the description box below. I'm gonna start by talking about chipping and handling. This box did come with a big dent in it. It's pretty noticeable. All of the corners look pretty damaged. I'm sure everything inside will be just fine as it is all closed. Everyone seems to think shipping from Sheen takes like months to come. I have never had a box take longer than two weeks to come. This one came in, I think, a week. I'm pretty sure. That's better than American Eagle. American Eagle took, I think, a whole entire month to ship out these underwear I bought. Considering Sheen is super affordable, I think that shipping time is outstanding. Also, all of the items mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below, as well as all the items that were in part one of this series. This is not my first rodeo with Sheen, and all of their quality is amazing. This is also not my first haul with them, obviously. I have, I think, four to five other ones on this channel. two to three bathing suits in here. The first thing I see when I open the box is a big green bubble wrap, which I've never seen before. Two more. Windbreaker. Now the box is empty. This is everything that you're going to see in this haul. Oh, try on haul, first impressions, honest review, and unboxing. I got three crop tops, so I think I'm going to start with those because they're easy to pick out. I got two of these crop tops in the same design, just different colors, and then these two are halter tops. All three of these crop tops are in extra small. I'm so glad I got an extra small. I feel like a small would be kind of big. Here it is, and it has a ribbed material to it. I love the V-cut look it's a really really good size it's not too short and it's not extra long next is black this is the halter one i'm kind of nervous for these it's a really weird material this scares me okay okay it's not that bad here's what it looks like i hate the material i'm just gonna say it now it's this spandexy material which is really weird for a crop top and not what i would expect at all again This one is so cute. It is a nice and bright red. The back, it does look pretty low cut. Here is what the red one looks like. They are not see-through at all as far as colors. You can obviously see the champion logo of my sports ball that I have on right now. I think the cut is kind of weird. It makes me look really boxy. I actually really like how tight it is and the material is super nice. Here's what the back looks like. Again, kind of weird. Cut. exact same material and everything i actually really really like this one it doesn't make me look as boxy you can't see through it besides again the champion sign i swear to you guys you cannot see the champion sign in normal lighting the back i'm obsessed with the back of this one for some reason i love how this one fits me and i'm obsessed with the color everything about it is super super high quality this one is a little bit more see-through i love the back of this one I'm rating all of these crop tops a 10 out of 10. Do all of the sweat stuff. We're gonna start with the sweatshirt. This is Jimungus. Sleeves look really short. This is my arm in comparison. Overall, this is such thick material. This is literally like a champion sweatshirt. Lining material looks like up close. The pink tie-dye sweatpants set. It better not disappoint me. Here are the sweatpants. Super cute hot pink tie-dye. They look so see-through. This is an extremely thin material. The crop top, this looks huge. It's going to be way too low cut. If I hold it like this, it goes like all the way down there. This actually feels really high quality though. It's a ribbed material. Lastly are these gray sweatpants. 
here's what they look like. Here's the cuffs. It is such a thick material. I love how nice the pockets are and that it even has pockets. They're pretty deep too. All three of these items are size small. They fit perfectly as expected. Here's the back. The only thing I don't like is how they come to such a fast cuff. The sleeves are not too long. I do not have one wrong thing to say about this sweatshirt. Here's the back. I was a little iffy about it. I love how it looks though. This tie-dye crop top surprised me so much it's not see-through at all you can't even see the champion sign and that's saying a lot the pants are another story here they are they're not that see-through not that they're ugly i just definitely would not wear them with this crop top all of these items get a 10 out of 10 the more i looked at this set the more i fell in love with it Next, we're going to do this formal wear, I would call it. The skirt is an extra small, the jeans are an extra small, and the sweater is a small. Here's what it looks like. The cut around the neck automatically looks super weird. It has a trimming on the bottom. And here's the back, a cute little knot. It smells extremely weird. It's actually surprisingly thick. Here's what the material looks like. Next is the jeans. These are extra small, but they're jeans. Maybe just spend the extra 30 bucks and get some American Eagle jeans. If you get super lucky though, you might get a good pair. So we'll see how these are. These are very cute. They're black. You can just tell that these are cheap jeans because the buttons are flat. They have no indent in the middle. I think makes jeans look super cheap. Four buttons on them. This is an extra small and a better fit me. Here's what it looks like. It's so cute though. It has an elastic band, which I really like because I cannot fit in skirts that are just like a zipper. Rough looking material. I am obsessed. It's not even see-through at all. The split is so cute. Not many skirts look good on me and this looks so cute. I am not impressed by these jeans. They're super loose in the crotch area and really tight in the legs. They're also super, super short. I just hate how they're fitted. I'm not super happy with this sweater just because it feels like it's gonna fall off my shoulders. See, it could literally go like that so easily and it's very loose. It looks extremely cute when it's like this and it's actually fitting right. Here's the back of it. The jeans are getting a six out of 10. Really did not like these. Sweater's gonna get a nine out of 10. Love the fit, everything about it. Hate the shoulders. The skirt is getting a 20 out of 10. Obsessed. These are the last two clothing items before the swimsuits. We'll start with the windbreaker. Just by the first touch, this feels very cheap. Here's what it looks like. Just look at the color, it looks cheap. I hate the feeling of windbreakers, so touching this is like nails on a chalkboard. The only reason I got this is because of how cute it is. Next is the legging set. I'm so excited for these. If you've seen the TikTok waist cross leggings that go like this, sheen leggings are extremely hit or miss. Here's the weird top. I really did not get this for the top, but they don't have the crossover leggings unless it's this set. This is that weird spandexy material. I still think it would be really cute though. Here are the leggings. They look jimongous. This set is a small and the windbreaker is also a small. They feel extremely high quality. They feel like triple lined. Material looks like, this does not look like it's gonna fit right. This is such a shock. I love this top. The leggings were not as big as I thought they were gonna be. Also kind of baggy, the crossover. I still feel like I'm in a parachute. Like the ones you do in gym class. It's so tight. This would not do anything to keep you warm. I'm going to give this windbreaker a seven out of 10. For the leggings set, I'm giving the shirt a 10 out of 10. Obsessed with this. Leggings are gonna get an eight out of 10. Kind of baggy. 
I don't know if I would buy them myself. Next is the three bathing suits. This is by far my favorite. All of their sheen bikinis come in these sheen bikini bags. This is a super bright pink one. Is the bottoms. Here's the back of them. The top. All of their bikinis come with pads, I'm pretty sure. That's what it looks like. All of these swimsuits are small. It has adjustable straps as well. The next one is this tie-dye one. Actually, I think this is the exact same one as that pink one. What it looks like. Love the string. Last is this black and white one. This is a bit scandalous. It's this half black, half white swimsuit top and it's a wrap bikini, but I'm assuming they tied it just so it wouldn't get damaged in the mail. Look like this. They have a strap up here and then it's a very thong, cheeky bottom. If you know what to shop for on Sheen because you shop there a lot, which I do, you just have to get to know the website pretty much is what I'm saying. Don't mind the scratch on my stomach, my friend scratched me. This is what the tie-dye top looks like. Do you think the top is a bit loose? This is the exact same style as this swimsuit. This one is tighter. Exact same size, everything. I actually really like this swimsuit top. It fits me really well. For the tie-dye bathing suit, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10 just because the bottoms didn't really fit and I was really unhappy with how the top ended up fitting. The hot pink one, I'm going to give a 10 out of 10. I'm obsessed with it. The black and white one that's half black and half white, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10 for the entire set because the bottoms are just super scandalous. Overall, I 100% think you guys should spend your money on Sheen. If you're gonna buy, you should totally use my code. It's in the description box below. It gets you 15% off.